so big. Garden Clinic. Hi, library friends. It's me, Miss Cat. Welcome back to So Big Garden Critters. Today we're going to talk about more garden critters and sing some songs and do some poems about them too. Hello, how are you? Let's sing our Hello, How Are You song where we say hello, how are you? I'm good, I'm great, I'm wonderful. Hello, 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 how are you? Hello, 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 how are you? I'm good, I'm great, I'm wonderful. I'm good, I'm great, I'm wonderful. We have a story today about many different garden critters. But before we read our story, let's get our wiggles out. I wiggle my fingers. I wiggle my toes, I wiggle my shoulders, I wiggle my nose. Now no more wiggles are left in me. I'm as still as still can be. Our story today is called In a Garden. This was written by Tim McKenna and illustrated by Amy Sakuro. Amy Sakuro made all the pictures in this book. in a garden. Butterfly. In a garden on a hill, sparrows chirp and crickets trill. There's a sparrow. Do you see the garden down below? In the earth, a single seed sits beside a millipede. Worms and termites dig and toil, moving through the garden soil. Hey, look at our friend, the earthworm. Do you think that's Carl? Do you see any other garden critters here? That's right, a grasshopper. Then at last, a tiny shoot ever slowly forms a root. First a seedling, then a sprout, pushing, bursting up and out. In a garden day by day, newborn flowers find their way. Do you see any garden critters on these pages? butterflies. Sunlight warms the morning air. Dewdrops shimmer here and there. Earwigs scuttle, beetles scurry. Roly polies scoot and worry. Sleepy slugs and garden snails leave behind their silver trails. Frantic teams of busy ants scramble up the stems of plants. Well, here's a snail. And what do we have? Some ants. These are called roly polies. And here's a slug. That's like a snail without a shell. And this little guy, this little mouse, will eat your corn in your garden if you're not careful. Lots of garden critters on this page. In a garden, week by week, little creatures hunt and squeak. Squirrel. You see one in a nest right there? Some baby birds. What's the mama bringing to the baby bird? An earthworm. Birds eat earthworms. I hope that's not Carl. All the while a sprout is growing without anybody knowing. 
Buds emerge and leaves unfold, braving wind and heat and cold. Stretching, spreading, open wide, just the perfect place to hide. Underneath it's safe and snug for a lonely ladybug. In a garden showers fall, dainty drinks for one and all. Do you see any garden critters here? Orbit, orbit. <laughs> right, that's a frog. Flower petals bold and bright blossom in the beaming light. Blooms of every shape and size call to bees and butterflies. Daisy, foxglove, tulip, plum, daffodil, chrysanthemum. Those are all the names of flowers. Daisy, foxglove, tulip, plum, daffodil, and chrysanthemum are all flowers. Oh my goodness, there are a lot of garden critters here. Ladybug, Bees, and of course our beautiful Butterfly. What a pretty flower garden. Sips of nectar warm and sweet. Pollen clings to heads and feet. Round and round they buzz and flit, only pause to rest a bit. Do you see the pollen sticking to the bee's head here? And to the bee's feet? That's how they pollinate the flowers. They spread pollen from flower to flower. In a garden, bugs aglow, flashing, flying to and fro. Do you know what those are? They come out at night. Yes, fireflies. They're catching one in a jar and then they'll let it go later. Lace wings, gnats, mosquitoes, spiders, dragonflies, and water striders live among the cattail weeds, lily pads, and water weeds, keeping hid from hungry eyes, using colors to disguise. Crafty bugs with clever tricks look like leaves or bark or sticks. Bugs that know how to hide by looking like whatever they are resting on. That's called camouflage. There's some dragonflies. There's a dragonfly. Who's up in that tree? Who's up in that tree? <laughs> yes, that's an owl. In a garden full of green, many moments go unseen. Oh, wow. I see lots of critters. Who are these guys? Yes, they're running away with some carrots. And there are some butterflies. And that looks like a what? Snail. And what is this over here? You see that? That's a caterpillar. Do you know that caterpillars will turn into butterflies? Yes, they will. Finding shelter in the shade, careful rows of eggs are laid as a cool and gentle breeze whispers through the tops of trees. This is a moth and it's laying eggs to hatch in the spring and out will pop little tiny moth caterpillars that will turn into moths next summer. Then a seed slips to the ground, sinking in without a sound. Life returns to start again. So in the next spring, we'll have more flowers and more plants growing. Oh, 
always changing, never still, in a garden on a hill. Do you see all the children playing in the garden and helping to plant? Wow, we saw many different garden critters in this story, didn't we? The end. Do you remember who makes these? That's right, earthworms. These are earthworm castings. Here's an earthworm. <laughs> earthworm castings happen when worms tunnel underground and the soil goes through their bodies and they make lots of tunnels and fluff up the soil so that it's not hard and packed because if it was too hard and packed the roots of plants would have trouble getting down and growing through the soil and the water would have trouble um, going down through the soil so that the roots of plants could get to them so earthworms have a very important job to do. Let's sing our worms a song. Hey, should we invite Mr. Worm to come and sing along with us? Okay. Hey, Mr. Worm, come on up. The kids want to see you. Mm -hmm. Hi. Can you say hi to the kids? Uh, are you ready to sing with us? All right, we're going to sing worms, okay? All right. There are worms, there are worms in the garden underground. There are worms, there are worms, and they tunnel all around. And they wriggle and they giggle and they help the garden grow. When the rain comes down, they come up to say hello. Worms, 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 worms in the garden. Worms, 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 worms in the ground. Again? Okay. There are worms, there are worms in the garden underground. There are worms, there are worms, and they tunnel all around. And they wiggle and they giggle and they help the garden grow. When the rain comes down, they come up to say hello. Worms, 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 worms. Worms, worms, worms in the garden. Worms, 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 worms. Worms, worms, worms in the ground. <laughs> that was great singing, wasn't it, Mr. Worm? <laughs> yeah. Okay, um, are you ready to go back into the ground and make some earthworm castings? All right, we'll see you later. Bye. <laughs> I have a riddle for you. What's red with black dots and eats pesty aphids? Yes, you're right, ladybugs. Here's a ladybug eating a pesty aphid. Do you see the green aphid? Those aphids are bad for your garden plants. So ladybugs come in and they eat them. So we like ladybugs in our garden. And if we see them, we keep them there, right? And let me show you a picture of a baby ladybug. Let's see. Oh, here's a baby. So if you see those crawling on your plants, just leave them because they're very helpful and they will help your garden grow better because you won't have pesty aphids eating all your plants. Now when a ladybug goes to take off and fly away, it opens up its shell and out comes its wings and then it can fly. So for our next song, Helpful Ladybug, we're going to make the ladybug shells opening and closing while we sing. Can you do that? Open your shells. Come on, all my little ladybugs. <laughs> Let's sing Helpful Ladybug. Hey, helpful lady, lady. Hey, helpful ladybug. Hey, helpful lady, lady. Hey, helpful ladybug. Fly high up in the sky. Hey, helpful ladybug. Fly down low in the garden. Hey, helpful ladybug. Hey, helpful lady, lady. Hey, helpful ladybug. Hey, helpful lady, lady. Hey, helpful ladybug. You help me in my garden. Hey, helpful ladybug. You eat up pesty aphids. Hey, helpful ladybug. Hey, helpful lady, lady. Hey, helpful ladybug. Hey, helpful lady, lady. Hey, helpful ladybug. 
Good job flapping your ladybug shells. I have another riddle for you. What is sometimes green has very strong back legs and can jump very far and fast. Yes, a grasshopper. Let's get a picture of a grasshopper. Here's a picture of a grasshopper and this grasshopper is eating garden plants. So tell me, do we want lots of grasshoppers in our garden? Hmm, maybe not so much but they are cool to look at and to trace and try and catch because they jump so fast. We usually can't catch them. Let's sing our green grasshopper song. And in this song, you get to be a grasshopper that jumps really high. So when we say hop, 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 you're going to jump. Hop is another word for jump. And then when we sing about the grasshopper eating our garden plants, we say chomp, chomp, chomp. And we make a chomping motion with our hands. Can you make a chomping motion? Good. All right, let's sing Green Grasshopper. Everybody get your jumping grasshopper legs ready. Green grasshopper, hop, hop, hop. Green grasshopper, hop, hop, hop. Your legs are so strong, your jump is so long. Green grasshopper, hop, hop, hop. Green grasshopper, chomp, chomp, chomp. Green grasshopper, chomp, chomp, chomp. I know you're hungry, but leave the veggies for me. Green grasshopper, chomp, chomp, chomp. Green grasshopper, hop, hop, hop. Green grasshopper, hop, hop, hop. Your legs are so strong, your jump is so long. Green grasshopper, hop, hop, hop. How many people did some really good hopping out there? Great. Okay, time for another riddle. What is yellow and black and goes buzz, 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 buzz. <laughs> That's right. This is our happy, snappy, buzzy, fuzzy, dancing bumblebee. And we're going to sing dancing bumblebee. Now, do you remember why bumblebees or honeybees or really any kind of bee are helpful in the garden? I'll tell you why because when they fl fly from flower to flower, because they like to drink the sweet nectar, they pick up yellow pollen from the flowers, looks like this, and they get stuck all over their fuzzy bodies. And then when the bees fly to another flower, some of the pollen falls off of its body and goes on the flower and helps it to form fruits and vegetables. So we like the bees. We want to take care of the bees and be very gentle with bees. Right? <laughs> of course. Let's sing Dancing Bumblebee. Can you buzz like a bumblebee first? Buzz, buzz, buzz. Good. All right, let's sing Dancing Bumblebee. I'm a happy, snappy, buzzy, fuzzy, dancing bumblebee. If you want to have some fun, then buzz along with me. We'll buzz around the garden flowers flying on the breeze, pollinating vegetables, fruits, and all the trees. I'm a happy, snappy, buzzy, fuzzy, dancing bumblebee. Buzz, 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 buzz. Let me hear you buzz. Buzz, buzz, buzz. I'm a happy, snappy, buzzy, fuzzy, dancing bumblebee. If you want to have some fun, then buzz along with me. We'll buzz around the garden flowers flying on the breeze, pollinating vegetables, fruits, and all the trees. I'm a happy, snappy, buzzy, fuzzy, dancing bumblebee. Buzz, 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 buzz. Okay, time for our five garden snails poem. <laughs> Do you remember what a garden snail looks like? Yes, this one has a little shell and they're kind of mushy and 
and slimy and they have two little horns here and their eyes are right on the ends and that's how they see. And this garden snail will eat your garden vegetables. So they're pesty critters. Let's do our garden snail poem and we will have some helpful birds take our garden snails away as a juicy, delicious snack. Here's my garden snails. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, oh, their eyes are getting a little crazy. Okay, five garden snails. All right, let's try that again. <laughs> All right, stay. Five garden snails sleeping in the sun. Along came a yellow bird and flew away with one. Let's see how many are left. One, two, three, four. Four garden snails sleeping in the sun. Along came a purple bird and flew away with one. One, two, three left. Three garden snails sleeping in the sun. Along came a red bird and flew away with one. Let's count how many are left. One, two. Two garden snails sleeping in the sun. Along came a green bird and flew away with one. How many are left? One garden snail sleeping in the sun. Along came a blue bird. And then there were none. <laughs> the end. Now, the birds in our five garden snail poem were helpful because they were flying off with the garden snails, but sometimes those birds are not so helpful. Do you see what the bird is doing in this picture? It's eating the tomato. Every year when I plant tomatoes, the birds always come and take some big bites out of my juicy tomatoes. Oh well, I guess I have to share them with the birds. <laughs> Do you know another garden critter that sometimes you have to share with? I'll show you. Let's see if you know what this is. Can you see what that is? That is a squirrel. And the squirrel is eating this sunflower. Sometimes squirrels eat corn. If you plant corn in your garden, they'll eat your corn too. Yep. Squirrel is another critter you might see hanging around your garden because there are good things to eat there. Have you seen any squirrels in your garden? Hmm. Another garden critter that we love to watch a garden critter that flits and floats on the breeze. Do you know what that garden critter I'm talking about is? Yes, a butterfly. Oh, here's a picture of a really pretty butterfly. Isn't that pretty? Let's sing our butterfly butterfly song where we make butterfly wings with our hands and we loop our thumbs together and then we move our fingers to look like butterfly wings. Good, can you do that? Very nice. Fly, fly, butterfly. Fly, fly, butterfly. Fly, fly, butterfly. Fly up in the sky so high. Now make your wings flitter. Move them a little faster. There you go. Flitter, flitter, butterfly. Flitter, flitter, butterfly. Flitter, flitter, butterfly. Flitter and fly up in the sky. Very nice, fluttering and flittering. Well friends, so big is over for today. 
I hope you had a good time talking and reading and singing about garden critters. Next time we meet, we're going to be reading about a very special butterfly and making a butterfly craft. I hope you'll join me. Have a great week. Bye friends.